Hey everybody, it's Pastor David from Walden Community Church. I wanted to tell you a story. There is a story about an enemy king who ransacks a town and kidnaps the prince, his wife, and children. And he has the prince and wife and children locked up in chains, brought into his throne room and thrown to the floor. And the enemy king says, to offer you in ransom, what would you give me if I let you go? The prince said, I would give you half my kingdom. The enemy king said, what would you do if I just let your children go? The prince said, I would give you my entire kingdom. I would give you all I possess. The enemy king said, and what would you give me if I just released your wife? The prince thought and he said, for that, I would lay down my own life. The enemy king was so moved for this man's devotion to his family that he let the entire family go. And the prince and wife and children were on the way back to their town. And the prince said to his wife, did you notice how powerful and how great that king was? And his wife said, I didn't because I couldn't take my eyes off the man who was willing to give his life for me. This Sunday at Walden Church, we're gonna talk about happiness and more specifically what it would take to have a happy marriage, a happy relationship. And we're gonna ask, are we willing in our relationships to give all of ourselves, to give more than we receive? One writer says it like this, some of us may be surprised to learn that love is work and has tremendous tasks to perform. We are more likely to think of love as always wearing party clothes and playing glamorously in perpetual sunsets and moonlight. What a surprise to discover that love does some of its more serious work in stained and torn blue jeans and in the heat of the day. You know, I believe that good marriages are designed in heaven, but they are crafted here on earth. They are crafted in hard work. A good marriage, a good relationship does not just happen. And if you're going to have a good marriage, if you're going to have a happy marriage, a lifelong marriage, then that takes a commitment to the other person and a giving of yourself for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health until death do you part. This Sunday we have two worship services, one at 9.30 and one at 11. Our 9.30 service is more traditional and has hymns, whereas our 11 o'clock service has a worship team and a full program for children. Thanks everybody. I'll see you then. Bye.